they sign it. Okay, if you don't like the money you make, or you maybe you need maybe they need to start looking at the rankings and maybe telling top rank at nego- the negotiating table, look it. I know Terrence Crawford is here, and I know you're going to put me in the ring with them in the next two years. You're not going to give me anything less than this. And if the promoter takes it, then he takes it. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. But may, they need to do a better job of the of uh, structuring a contract before they sign it. Because I really, you know, like I said, it hurts the sport uh, overall when these guys stay out of the ring in these legal battles. Andre Ward did it for years with Guzan, and Garcia did it for two and a half with uh, with Top Rank. Big shout out to Michaela Mayer who made her pro debut last night on the Top Rank card. Uh, oh, she wait. she fought a wait. guy. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. She fought a guy. You're terrible. Did you see her? The thing she was fighting? No, no I didn't. So you're terrible. Dude, some of these chicks are a little too dikey. <laughs> Sorry. You... <laughs> Sorry. That's what I mean by women's boxing, though. You've seen they just signed her. That was yeah, a pro She's pretty, movie. too. Here's the thing. I know. She is a really attractive young lady. She looks the part. I'm just saying that she might want to consider buying some boobs. Everyone thinks their daughter is the most beautiful princess. No, no, no they're not. Bullshit. They're really bullshit. not. You're mean. Don't talk like that. Listen, when these girls can fight, the UFC has been doing it for years. They doll up all of their fighters for their photo ops, okay? Straight and, up. And, and, and then people are buying those tickets. Cat fight, right? cat fight, hey, cat and, fight. And it, you start looking at it and you're like, yeah, you know, I just want her. I just want my little girl to do half of that. I don't need her to be a professional. Why fighter, are you wanting want... it by talking about our daughters? Okay, what? Because I you're ruining it. Big... I'm picking lingerie fight. I don't. Uh, I don't think. <laughs> you. That's the only reason why they buy them, Lee. They, they think it's a. I'm it's waiting. A, yeah, I'm waiting uh, for the first lingerie match. We need the These lingerie bloody, league. Bro. These girls are bloody. You got bloody noses, cut eyes, but you know what? The one of them's winning. One of them is still winning. But but no, this is not a a this. I do not see a fantasy when I see two girls with swollen eyes and and bloody noses. Uh, sorry, no sir. Um, no, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they know how to sell them. They know how to like you said. Not too many guys want to look at a bald headed woman who doesn't shave. I'm just saying, people don't fucking hold that against me. That's just reality. That is reality. Okay, I don't see my daughter. When I see a bald-headed chick that doesn't shave, okay, with tattoos, just saying. That's I think that has something to do either selling, boxing's getting onto it. Boxing's totally getting onto it. We even have fighters doing commercials now coming out of the Olympics, uh, and the women. So, no, that's my take, Lee. Sorry. Triple G says he's not letting Floyd and Connor overshadow his moment. He's just keeping his head down, and he's uh, keeping to the fight itself. Uh, so it's Gennady like Golovkin, out. Gennady's not getting caught up in this bullshit. No, sir. It's sold out. They don't need to sell shit like the other one. Right. The other one's still struggling, Lee. It's and, interesting. And Lee, did you know that the tickets were only $300 more? Oh, the boxing world is talking. Hello. That speaks for itself. One that I've always said, I won't go there. You can. I won't go. I won't. The UFC just can't. They can't buy that ticket, bro. They can't. If you've ever looked at ticket prices, there's a big difference. That's why Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao had like a $72 million gate. And they're happy when they make a $20 million gate, right? Isn't that McGregor's biggest? Come yeah. on now. There's a $50 million difference there. And you're, you you put your prices like Floyd's boxing world was going to buy this fight. And they're clearly not. They're clearly not. When, when, Canelo versus Triple G is only a $300 difference, and they're sold out? Juan Manuel Marquez retired this past week, Andrew. I know. I, all and I'm going to say it again. Another guy who probably couldn't get medically cleared for another fight. I don't believe it's just I don't want to fight anymore. I believe, much like Steroids. I do with... with uh... Steroids. Well, I don't know necessarily Remember? about steroids. I'm just telling you the dude has taken a freaking beating in the ring. He took a beating in the ring, but that fourth fight, come on, Lee. Come on. Look at the pictures, man. He didn't never look that good. He was 40, what was he, 52 that night? <laughs> Best shape of his life. Everyone knew it. Even Morales texted out. 
That what do you say? Mexican doctors were better than the Philippine doctors on this night. I said, fucking ain't right. But it destroyed his joints. It destroyed his spine. He was too old probably when he took it, and uh, it had a tremendous damage on his body. He couldn't come back. Absolutely. That's the same thing I think happened to our heavyweight champ, Lee. I don't know if they'll ever tell us the truth, but I, I truly believe Klitschko was injured in training. That's why he just gave it up. They probably told him, look, you got this injury, probably going to have to push the fight to next year. Klitschko was already thinking about the, the third fight, making two big-ass checks on his way out. When he's seen that he had this long to get in the ring again, I think he called it quits. But that's just me, people. I don't, you know, like I said, maybe they'll tell us one day. Maybe they won't. I just, I don't believe that a healthy Klitschko woke up and goes, yeah, 25 million. I don't want it. Bullshit. I call bullshit on that. Especially like Lee says, he was close to knocking Anthony Joshua out. He really was. And in this six months, I don't think Anthony Joshua is going to be able to to go any further in the fight or put any more energy in the fight than he did the first one. I don't think that gets cured, right, Lee? Right. You think he, he, no, no, that's 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 his, that's where it's at. Unless he is banging Amir Khan's wife. If he is banging Amir Khan's wife, maybe then a little, he'll get another round out of it. Uh, but I don't know. Did you hear about that, Lee? No. Amir Khan put out a tweet that Anthony Joshua is sleeping with his woman. So great. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Amir Khan, you know, his woman immediately said, you're a piece of shit, too. Not those words, but they, she was basically saying that. Um, she said his boxing career is over. She said, you're the only one who's a cheater. Um, you're the only one caught with their pants down. Uh, Anthony Joshua, for all my big girls that listen, Anthony Joshua said he likes his big, beautiful women, baby. So you guys, you see him in Vegas, attack that man. He likes him. I'm telling you, Lee. Amir Khan's girl's way too small. I didn't believe it when I seen it. But, hell, you never know. You never know. There were rumors last night circulating around the tables that uh, Timothy Bradley was going to make his formal announcement last he night. He did. He did. Okay. Sure. I didn't see yes, it. Sir. Yeah, he did. So, and what did he cite? Uh, nothing. Just long career, you know. No, he's not going. Yeah, talk about one running. eyeball is stuck to the side of his oh, head in the wrong position. <laughs> Fucking wall-eyed bastard! Oh, Can't... you're so. Hey, he made like twenty million though. He's done very good in the sport. He doesn't that... need to, and he's got a sweetheart. You know, he's yeah. got the boxing he's contracts. Sounds good on the op- mics. He's great. Yep. yep. He opened up a restaurant. I wish he would stop playing um like he's he's teddy atlas's son okay or or his kid that he's still being trained by teddy i don't like that that character on him i wish he would be more of a presence of an ex-world champ uh ex pound for pound fighter you know what i'm do you kind of get what i'm saying lee they kind of come off like he's always you know asking teddy if it's an approval that he speaks or whatever oh come on coach and hey coach this is what i think and he's like just just be your own man be your own man you'll do fine with klitschko officially out of the way because of retirement um he don't did, want it well want did it, we cover we covered the retirement last week right i'm just yes, making sir. sure okay so there are two fights that have been popped up right I'll tell you what you're Ortiz, Ortiz ha, WBA is ordering Joshua Ortiz, and Deontay Wilder apparently pulled his head out of his ass, or at least on Twitter he did, and said that he wants to be that man in November, which I don't fucking believe for a moment. And Lee, exactly, Lee, even if he did say this, right? Let's say he said it, and they go, fine, let's meet. Let's negotiate. You know what they're going to do? I want $50 million. Right, you're not no, Klitschko. You're yeah, not we're Klitschko. not going to give you that. Oh, fuck it. I'm not going to fight. They won't give me what I want. Come on. You, you already know the PBC game, you know? And just like real fast, and we'll go back to this Joshua Deontay fight because I want it. But real fast, already, remember that big fight, Darrell versus Benavides, we announced last week? Yes. Well, the PBC fighter, Darrell, injured in training. Now now is not fighting for the vacant title. Go figure. Uh, so, so Benavides will fight some other guy. Win the title easy. Darrell won't take a defeat. Will be still be on PBC saying he probably wants to fight the champion, but won't fight the champion. The same thing with those fucking Charlo brothers from the PBC. You know, it's 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 BS. I don't want to hear it. Deontay Wilder, if you want to fight Anthony Joshua in a unification match, take the check they offer because it's going to be the highest. 
They've already offered them. I know I paused right there. They've already, because it makes me so mad. I already know the PBC's game. It's bullshit. It's just like what DeBuff said about Garcia. If you want to fight Crawford, if you want to fight, uh, who did he name? Who did Lomachenko, Crawford, and one yeah. other guy? One he other named every, Look, guy. yeah, and he made yeah. the tour. Yeah. He, he named all top rank guys. Why the fuck you leave top rank then? Yep. I agree. I don't believe it. I want to see Ortiz versus one of these guys. The Anthony Joshua, Deontay Lee. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be selfish here. I don't think it's ready. I don't. I think you can get a few more tomato cans under Deontay because Deontay's being pushed by the Floyd Mayweather fan base. Believe me, they'll drink it. They they will drink it. They already are. So build them some more. Make him so you give him some more little fights. Let all the TMT fans turn into Deontay T- uh, Wilder fans. And Joshua, just let him keep doing what he's doing. He's tearing up the division. Do you, do, you, do you remember the same time last year Deontay Wilder said that Joshua was too green to face him, and now Joshua has a better win than all of Deontay's resume? Yep. I agree. I'm with you. Bink, 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 bink. bink. That's a lot of news. Andrew. Guess who else retired? Guess who else retired? We missed this one. Okay, go we ahead. Mi- we missed it, Lee, because I don't believe it, but I got to report it because it's boxing. Tyson Fury, Lee. Done again. Can't he can't get medically cleared. Another person who can't medically get cleared. He was fat. He was pretty big. He, he that look at he has. I don't know what's wrong. I still think he's gonna come back. Right? We all know his game. He's gonna say he's gonna. He's always gonna claim he's the best because no one beat him and try to get a ten million dollar payday on his first comeback fight. Uh, but yes, he did retire again, people. So Tyson Fury no longer coming back to the heavyweight division. No shocker there. Anything else you'd like to add for this week? Well, we got to do our McGregor Mayweather. Oh, God. I thought we could get by without doing another fucking update. No, Lee, there are full access shows. I know. We got to watch them. All right. First of all, as I have delayed putting Bobby Capucci on to talk about this fight because it just fucking pains me to talk about the fight this much. First and foremost, this week, you sent me a message that you are start like you are you can't believe that he's leaning so heavily on yeah. McGregor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know if he's doing that to keep the money coming in on McGregor, right? Is he pulling a a, a little fraud move on us, Lee? And then he's going to go lay all of his his money on Floyd at the very end just to get those numbers down. I'm praying that that's it. But I don't understand why he believes so much in the McGregor in this fight? Why he's telling people to lay their hard-earned money on McGregor in this fight? That's a, that's a, it's it's uh that's a big lead. He's never boxed, and he's talking about feet work. That, I don't Do we want to talk about Paulie Molinaji? Yes, I don't want to talk about the man's prediction until if the man comes on air, then we will talk. But All I, right. I, it's very hard for me to take anybody seriously that talks about. A man who's never been in the ring having better feet work than a man who is the best at it ever. All right. Ever. Since I have avoided Please, talking did about you it. you hear my, what I said? I yes. said ever. There has never been anyone better than Floyd on moving around that ring and getting out of the way of punches. Correct? The best Correct. Defense no question. Literally no question. And we're fucking sitting here saying McGregor is going to corner him? <laughs> Maybe if he was going to tackle him, Lee, if it's in a cage, yes. He's going to fucking put his arms around him and drive him right into the cage. I get that scenario. But don't tell me he knows how to cut off the ring to the to the degree where he's going to corner Floyd Mayweather. He, come on. Come All, on. Right. All right. Pauly Malinaji. Yes. So for those of you who don't know the story or live under a rock, he was invited to come out and spar. During the sparring, it was taped. He got pushed down, allegedly, by McGregor. That's the clip that they decided to show out on social media. Paul Malinaji found out about it. Paulie Malinaji told them to retract it. They didn't and ran with it and made a big deal about it and basically said that Malinaji got worked by McGregor. McGregor, uh, Paulie Malinaji lost his shit, jumped on a plane, went home. Because McGregor's training out in Vegas at the UFC facility. Uh, and that's when Polly basically went on his tirade and said, Floyd's going to kill him. <laughs> they, set him they set him up. 
They yeah. kept Paulie up. See, they, they told Paulie this was going to be a fun, you know, sparring match. You're going to help us out. You're going to show us.